What's going on YouTube? Um, wanted to make a cool video for you guys um, and kind of just update you guys on um, how I've been doing, how I've been dealing with uh, this coronavirus and the situation um, and wanted to check in with you guys. Um, yeah, uh, how, how are you guys doing with all this? Um, I think it's good to kind of through, through all this sit back and ask yourself how you're doing with all of this and and um, making sure that you're in check, your mental health, your physical health, making sure that you and your family are your and your friends are okay. Um, that is a super important thing to do in this time. Um, but I wanted to make a video on kind of what um, what my couple weeks have looked like, um, and I hope that this video can maybe inspire some of you that might be fighting. Um, you know, any any problems that might be coming along with this, whether you're feeling lethargic, unproductive, you just don't want to do anything. Um, maybe I hope that this can provide some encouragement and inspiration for you. Um, I must say at first with this whole thing, um, it was really hard to um, accept what was going on. Um, just seeing what was going on around the world with this horrible virus, um, it just... I don't really have words for it. It's kind of um, unprecedented is kind of the best word I can think of um, and unexpected. Um, but I think as musicians through all of this and anyone who is in artistic creative type, um, I always look at things as pros and cons in my personal opinion. And instead of taking this time and succumbing to what what you can fall fall short of um, when looking at this, um, I've tried to look at the pros with this. So this is kind of what I've been up to. Um, again, I hope this can be encouraging to anyone um, that might be going through what I went through a couple weeks ago with struggling to accept what's going on and still moving on with my life but still being stuck at home. Um, I have two underlying conditions that this virus is um, attacking in particular. I have a really bad case of sleep apnea. Um, so I do sleep with a CPAP machine. Um, basically my, my body um, stops breathing at some points um, and I got diagnosed with this a few years ago. Um, and I do have a CPAP machine I sleep with at night um, and it's been a lifesaver, um, something that's definitely changed my life. I also um, have a little bit of asthma, <laughs> and um, I must say the the trombone playing has helped with this a lot. Um, but what I've been doing with this um, is I'll kind of talk about two things. I'll talk about what my days have looked like, um, and th this might be a little bit non-trombone related, but I feel like it, you know, you can still take something away from this. I'll obviously talk about music also because this is a trombone and music related channel. So, um, yeah, I'll talk about what my days have kind of looked like, and then I'll talk about some really cool projects, um, that I'm working on. So I kind of break my days up into morning and afternoon and evening. Um, I, at the moment, don't need to be anywhere, and I am actually self-isolating because um, I'm not going outside the gates of my community um, just for my own sake and my safety until things start to look a little better. Um, right now, here in California, it is not that bad. Um, I mean, it's, it is bad, obviously, but our numbers aren't as bad as um, some other places in the U.S., especially New York, where it's kind of the epicenter of this right now. But anyways, um, so with that, I've really tried to give structure to my days. And I must say, some days are easier and some days are harder. And I always try to, even when I'm not feeling up to it, try to get something out of this, out of the things that I do. So my morning afternoon kind of looks like this. I wake up and the first thing I do when I wake up is I try to, um, I try to go outside, um, at least within my gated community and go for a very short walk. Um, it doesn't even have to be long. It could be anywhere between five and 15 minutes, maybe even shorter, maybe even longer. 
um, just to get some sunlight and clear my head, clear my thoughts for the day um, so that I can um, go on normally. I think it's important at this time to try to stick to some form of routine and, and, and structure. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be feeling lethargic the entire day. And not to say that I haven't had those days. I've definitely had those days. But um, I try to keep to this as much as possible. So I'll start with the walk. Um, after the walk, um, I'll shower. I try to shower every day. Like I said, doing things that that feel normal, like your your normal life. Um, and then after um, I do all bathroom stuff, groom, all that good stuff, um, I will go to my dining room table. I'll make breakfast and I always start out with a cup of coffee. Um, it kind of helps get my day going. Um, and then I'll read. Um, I read all kinds of books um, and I usually do my like devotional. Um, I'm a Christian so I do read my Bible every day and that usually um, is tied in with the morning. So I'll have my coffee, I'll have my breakfast, and I'll have my reading. Um, and it's always just a great way to start the day. Um, and then after I read, um, I'll do my warm up. Um, and this is um, basically my warm up and fundamentals. So this can take anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. I do my full warm up and I do some scales and etudes. Basically, everything that is not the things I want to shed later in the day, um, I do that then. Because after that, um, I'll either teach online or I will work on a project um, that is usually music related. Um, I'm only working about twice a week right now. I make my um, band videos. Um, on Monday because I do teach elementary school band and then on Thursdays I have all my private students that are online and if you are interested in online lessons There's a link down in the description if you want to take some trombone lessons with me. So very cool um, and Let's see. So yeah, I'll do my warm-up and fundamentals and then I will um, Either teach or work on some kind of music related project um, which I'll talk about later um, in the evening, I have a mix of several things. Um, I am enjoying lots of uh, times spending with my wife. We hang out. Uh, we have some movies and TV shows that we like to enjoy together. Um, so in the evening, um, my I still practice. I actually kind of play trombone throughout the whole day. Um, I'm not a big believer in sitting down doing one long practice session, then you're done for the day. I do snippets of my practice session um, actually throughout the entire day. Um, and that's what has worked for me. So my practice sessions um, are usually my jazz and my classical playing, maybe some sight reading, um, reading some ensemble things. Um, and then any extra trombone related things, maybe if I'm working on a cover or working on um, something for uh, my YouTube channel, stuff like that, um, I usually do in the evening um, or pre-evening as I like to call it, early evening. Um, so yeah, and then... Um, this is all in the evening, and these are all mixed. I don't do these in a specific order. Um, and then I do do uh, have some time for media, like catching up on TV, catching up on the news, um, catching up on my social media, uh, making sure my friends are okay, and, um, and communicating with people that are close to me. Um, so media and communication. Um, chores, now is a great time if you have that random project um, or purging your closet or things like that, now it is a great time to do that. So for me, it's like doing the dishes, taking the trash out, things like that, making sure that my apartment is um, nice and tidy. Because if you have a messy workspace, then, you know, for me, if my workspace is messy, my brain is usually pretty <laughs> messy also. So I try to keep things nice and tidy. Um, and then I do game a little bit. I have a Nintendo Switch, so I'll do that um, late in the evening. I have been a bit of a night owl, um, so I'll do that late in the uh, evening, evening after I've done all my things. And then I also like to create. And the creating could be anything from a music project to a house project to a passion project, any anything like that. So those are what my days look like. Um, 
Now, when I say all these projects, some cool things I've been working on, um, well, not cool things, but really, really annoying life things, um, filing for unemployment, making sure my taxes are up to date, dealing with any business things, any business emails, any kind of band director stuff, uh, or private teaching, any communication I need to get out. Um, so when I say like projects, that's usually like one of them. Um, and then another very cool project um, that I have is me and my family have a um, children's worship band um, that we we do live events and pe perform. And right now we're working on a lot of online things. Um, and I'm writing a lot of charts, doing a lot of recording with that. So that's one of the things I work on. Um, some other exciting things, projects that I'm working on are there at some point within the next year or two, I would love to put out an album. I have a lot of really cool original compositional uh, composition ideas with eight to nine trombones um, and a bass and drums and so rhythm, rhythm section and trombone octet. Um, so I'd like to record that at some point, but I, I'm charting a bunch of it and coming up with a bunch of ideas for that. Um, and then I have some uh, other very cool things I'd like to do with the channel. Um, obviously, I'm not going to talk about them now because I'll end up putting them out at some point. Um, and then I also have some other projects like podcasts I run and, and other random creative things that I do. I'm a very creative person, so... I do a lot of things and just uh, play the trombone, teach the trombone, teach band. Um, so yeah, um, so I hope uh, this could be inspiring to anyone watching this. Um, again, if you're interested in taking some lessons with me, there's a link down in the description. Hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys can stay somewhat productive. Happy practicing um, and take care you guys.